So, hello guys and welcome to another episode of Diaries of a Wildlife Photographer. I am here on location in Egypt. Uh, I'm actually on vacation for diving, but uh, the last two days I was here I always saw a fishing eagle and I never, never, never had the big camera with me. But this time I have it with me and together we want to try to take images of this gorgeous bird and I really hope that we'll get some stunning images. So let's get started. So actually we will head out to the mangroves that are here. There is the actual nest of the osprey eagle and yeah it comes by at the hotel where we are located and yeah i just walk down to the mangroves and hope to see it and if not i just keep on going i'm here 14 days and i have 14 days time to get an image so I guess I really ho I hope that we will get an image of the osprey. So no further talking. Instead, we walk and go down to the mangroves. So now I'm actually at the mangroves, still seen no osprey, there was just a uh, heron flying by, let's, let's try if I can get an image of that, maybe I can hide behind the bush. Wait. Ah, oh, shit, it had already seen me. It was a little too fast. Is that an osprey? No, it's not. Is the other thing an osprey that is flying there? I'm not sure. Wait. So, it was no osprey. Just one of those beautiful seagulls. Uh, but I don't see any osprey here but the mangroves are beautiful wait I just show you so I'm actually here on a spot where behind me is the nest of the osprey and uh, it often came the last days on this road on this road here uh, near the rift um, in the shallow water and towards the hotel and i really really hope now that i get the possibility that when it flies by i will get some images so far the plan but i'm not pretty sure on how long i'm gonna stay here because the way back is quite a while and I don't want to be out here when it's dark don't know um, the su sunset is very beautiful um, but I don't, don't want to disturb the locals and uh, with the big lens and stuff don't want to disturb the locals here too much so just respect that and uh, yeah wait for a few minutes here and then I I am on my way back I already heard some kingfishers I was actually very 
happy to hear kingfishers here because I actually haven't thought about a kingfisher here so yeah um, now it's all about the waiting for the osprey maybe I'm lucky on the way back and uh, I will see it then we'll see So this thing over here looks like it's the nest of the osprey eagle or maybe an old nesting um, I'm not sure about that but looks pretty awesome if there was sitting an osprey on would look amazing and here everywhere little tiny little crabs but uh, I guess <laughs> there's a crab chasing a, a bird so the wildlife here is really acting completely different uh, so it's it's completely something else well I mean I don't have any camouflaging or so so maybe it isn't that bit of a difference I guess that's not an osprey eagle that's really hard because those seagulls really look so close to the osprey in size and everything but do you only see it when, when you have it close up so it's really 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 hard but uh, yeah I guess the next days I'll get the chance somehow uh, I've already seen one uh, on the way to the um, on the harbor where we leave for the diving uh, I've already seen one there twice so if I don't get it here in the mangroves I guess I will make some urban wildlife shot of the osprey there and uh, yeah so now I'm gonna walk the walk back oh and this is something that is really disgusting me here wait I show you guys so this is laying everywhere everywhere here on this beautiful beautiful landscape there's everywhere plastic and the locals aren't even in in, uh, in fault in this case uh, but, well not only but uh, that's almost a problem of the pollution of the ocean because there's so many plastic been brought here from the ocean from the tide and um, man that's that's pretty disgusting we went here for uh, from two years ago and we made a big uh, a big well just uh, five people 
an action to collect plastic and uh, yeah we collected so much but it it's never stopping here and um, I think that's actually pretty sad um, oh wait there are some little birdies I may try to photograph them uh, ah shit as soon as I go down they fly away ah maybe I get lucky and see the osprey ah. I want to take images of it so hard. <laughs> so, the sun is about to set, it's getting windier, uh, but tomorrow it should be very clear weather. And I really hope that I get the next days the chance to take some images of the Osprey. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it for today. And I guess we'll see tomorrow at another day. And uh, we'll take a look for the Osprey then again. So, see you tomorrow! So, good evening guys and very welcome back on the second day of my little Osprey project. I'm out again at the beach and looking for the Osprey. Um, I've already seen it today. I but I didn't have any chance to take any pictures of it, so uh, now I'm just wandering around and look at the spots where I've seen it, um, if I can take any images of it. So, I'm gonna head out and take a look if I can find it. So this is actually the spot where no no eagle um, where another diver saw it the past days and i also can see that there um, was something like a nest or something like that and i can show you that as one rock and uh, he photographed them on this rock two of them two of the youngsters and um, yeah i just gonna wait here for a few minutes and if it's not a curing i guess i will head back because the sun is already setting and uh, maybe i'm lucky and see it on the way back so just waiting so this is the rock where it's on um oh, and there was a bird flying on I just gonna take a look at it so actually that's a kingfisher I'm gonna try to approach it Wait. try to get a bit closer So that was actually really a kingfisher hunting here on the sea. Uh, I actually didn't really expect that. Um, it really looks like they hunt here for the little hermit crabs. Um, very interesting behavior, very different than uh, their behavior uh, with us. It's not really a fisher. Actually, it's a crabber. I don't know. <laughs> A king crabber. Um, so it's actually almost too dark here. The beautiful light is gone, the blue hour starts very soon and I think I'm gonna end the second day now. Uh, at least a bit of footage from the kingfisher and uh, yeah we see us tomorrow 
on day three. Good evening guys, uh, that was just amazing, uh, sorry I didn't make any moderation for the beginning of the episode, of the day, uh, in this evening because I was so fast into this Piper action, I guess, I, I don't know what, what actually kind of seabird it was, but they are so cute. And I was able to sneak around behind the bush and get really close to them. And now the sun is about to set and I start getting back to the hotel. That was actually a very nice evening for photographing these birds. Tomorrow I really hope to see the Osprey Eagle again but as the past days have told me I should not expect too much but the past days when we went diving on this harbor there were two, always two or about two Ospreys hanging around and I really hope to get some images tomorrow but we'll see tomorrow <laughs> and uh, yeah I'm just now walking back and end the day tomorrow again up for the sunrise and hope for the osprey and then when we go diving I hope for the osprey too and I finally was successful um, you see this this tower behind me there it was sitting for the whole sunrise and the sun is just rising right now uh, and uh, was just amazing. I was just standing right uh, 
beyond the tower and it was so calm, so relaxed and um, yeah, just got some nice shots. I'm not 100% happy because of the flag, um, but still I got some images of the Osprey Eagle, so I'm pretty happy right now. <laughs> And uh, but I'm tired, it's 4 4 30 in the morning when the sun rises here, so pretty early. I think you can also hear it from my voice. <laughs> Just got up and uh, took the camera, and uh, yeah, the sun is rising higher and higher now. But the Osprey is gone and uh, maybe we'll see it this morning on the harbor again, we'll see. So awesome morning, very successful, quite some nice images and uh, yeah, so see you on the harbor I guess. And indeed, I met the Osprey again at the harbor later and I was even able to photograph it in flight for the first time on this holiday. On the 8th day I had the pleasure of an intensive experience with Osprey for the last time. First, we watched it while having breakfast on a parasol. With the camera in luggage, I then had the pleasure of getting very close to him. About an hour later, I saw him flying past us from the pool with a fish in his clutches. I ran out of the pool, got the camera and was actually able to find him with the prey included. To be able to get as close as this and watch him eat was really unique and I guess I will never forget this experience.
almost finished with these holidays and uh, I'm absolutely happy with the results I got from the Osprey Eagle. Uh, finally it all came together and worked out. I had some great opportunities and um, yeah, pretty happy with it. And um, now tomorrow we are leaving and uh, yeah but what I also don't want to keep away from you is my time from underwater just I want to give you a little um, summary of that because um, it's almost already some some type of uh, wildlife photography it's the wildlife photography from underwater and uh, yeah, that's the main reason we came here or we come here every year to observe, photograph and enjoy the beautiful nature in the Egyptian Sea, the Red Sea. And uh, yeah, what did we see? Uh, we saw some white tip reef sharks, which was amazing. I've never dived with one before, so that was absolutely stunning. And uh, we also had the opportunity to swim with some dolphins. Also very, very nice. I really enjoyed that. That we had all those fantastic and crazy looking landscapes down there um, we saw some lionfish we had a turtle uh, we had four turtles in one dive which was amazing I always love to dive with turtles um, that's crazy nice and uh, yeah so I guess it's all for two weeks now. It's uh, two weeks are almost over now, and uh, yeah, pretty happy with the results. A lot of memories I can keep in, and uh, a lot of nice images I got. Pretty happy, and uh, yeah, just let me know what you think about it. What are your thoughts? on the, those images and did you enjoy watching this episode just let me know everything about in the comments leave a like maybe subscribe if you like the stuff i'm doing here and uh, until then see you in the next episode of diaries of wildlife photographer and yeah see you out there